Hello guys, si Kesan Velocity Tot. Welcome sa episode 35 ng Laruta ng Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. Tatuloy natin yung game natin. Ang huling episode natin guys, kinakausap natin yung mga kasama natin kasi nga natapos na natin yung ano eh. Natapos natin yung retribution eh, yung mission ni Gaichu. So, kinakausap natin ngayon yung mga ano natin, teammates. Actually, kakausapin natin yung mga kasama natin doon, yung tatlong ano, yung tatlong para ako. So, the Sun's Rays Ray point Hong Kong's mountains in a palette of orange and gold as they sp speed by outside the train. With a final flash, the sun drop dips below the horizon, foretelling the inevitable descent into night. Gaichi is silent as she walks back to the MTR station. His body remains as tense as the cables on a suspension bridge, but his expression is triumphant. Ishida has been punished, and all that awaits him is a slow descent into hunger and possibly madness. So, yan. Uh, kakausapin lang natin yung mga kasama natin, tsaka tatapusin natin yung dialogues sa ano. Yung, check natin yung mga ano, discussion sa Shadowlands BBS. So, tell natin matapos yung loading. Medyo mabilis na magbasa ngayon ng konti. <laughs> Naunaan ko yung loading, ano eh, yung loading bar. Tsaka na ano, last episode din pala, natang, ano, naputol yung isang ipin ng main character natin nung natulog. <laughs> so, natupad yung, ano, yung folktale na sinasabi sa inkulenta sa atin ni, ano, ni Isobel nangyari <laughs> so teka kaning okay. 25 mabibili yan pag nagkataon sa teka tapos ikaw lang muna tong ano zero on the mess just check your inbox when you are there's a open details directory ah uh, shadowlands bbs muna uh, false pay data Ah, wala pa. Okay. Okay. Mga threats. Yellow Lotus on the rise. Uh, on the rise? Camille, Camille, Camellia. Anybody else been noticing how many more Yellow Lotus they've been seeing in Calvin these days? I feel like I can't go anywhere north of Admi Admi ano? Admiralit, ano? Admiralty without trip tripping over one of their blue lanterns. Crimson co Crimson Comet naman. Seems that way. I know there's been some heavy stuff going down around Heyoy and the World City. Kindly Chang's been making serious inroads and the other red poles and straw, straw sandals are following suit. Bulgari. It's talent, pure and simple. We've got the guns, the connections, and the skills. Survival, survival of the fittest, ladies and gentlemen. We're simply complying with the laws of nature. Ignition 99. <laughs> I'm partial to mouse old adage power flows from the barrel of a gun natural selection has nothing to do with it the yellow lotus is playing their tiles right and the red dragon is just notice is just reacting the situation could change as a at a moment's notice pai you can bet your ass that when it does when it does Hong Kong's going to be a bloodbath. Before all of this, we had an equilibrium. Now everything is out of balance. When these kind of kinds of things tip back, there there's no stopping them. Take your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. Only one of these triads will be standing by this time. Next by this time next year. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Camille. Camellia. What makes you so sure? Sounds like you're just pulling this out of your ass. Pie. Statistical analysis. Detailed threat modeling. Computer-aided projections. Oh, and a de decade of experience as a mercenary. This is the same as the power struggles that result in coups. Except without the military backup. I estimate there's a less than 7.8 chance of both triads remaining inside 10 months. <laughs> Camellia. Sure, whatever, kid. We got ourselves a bona fide armchair general. Uh, armchair general here. Go be a matrix expert somewhere else. <laughs> Red. New Harley Scorpion. For sale. 10,000 new yen. Ano yan? Uh, ano siya? Bike? <laughs> Panda Cattles 49. Almost new. Harley Scorpion available. For immediate sale, it's in excellent condition. Black with red flames. Comes with auto cannons and custom speed mods. Letting it go for only 10,000 new yen. Because I travel for business and don't use it much. Need money fast. Can send pictures if you're interested. Okay, sana kaya lang. <laughs> Hindi naman magagamit ng character ko eh. Yeah. A trigger A trigger rig 8. That's an awesome deal for a modded bike. Can I take it for a test ride? Where can we meet? Panda Cuddles, 49. I'm in Macau on business and the bike is with me. I owe money right, right away to an associate. The best thing to do is to send half the money via a secure, secure escrow service and I'll bring the bike to you when I get back and you pay me the rest, if you don't want it, I'll refund your money, okay? <laughs> Parang hindi mo... <laughs> Parang ano ah. <laughs> Mahirap yata yun ah. But if you... If, but, you owe, but, if you, but if you owe the money now, won't the money be gone if I decide I want a refund? Ayun nga, medyo bias din to si A-Trigger A trigger Rigate eh. A-Trigger Rigate. If you travel with your bike, why do you want to sell your bike for cheap? Because you travel. Panda Cuddles 49. No, no. Sometimes I travel long distances. And I don't want to take it. If you want to put down only 4,000 new yen, that's okay. You can check out the escrow service. Loyal escrow. It's got a very good reputation, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. A triggering A. Macau's not far. Can, can I meet you in Macau? And the cuddles 49. My business is very sensitive. I can't meet you in Macau. Send only two five new yen then. And I'll reserve the Harley for you, okay? <laughs> okay to ah. Ayaw nyo makipag-meet. <laughs> Baka scam yan ah. <laughs> a trigger 8. A, trig a trigger rig, rig 8. If your business is so sensitive, how do I know this weaponized vehicle will come back in one piece? Why would you get a new uh, a trigger regate? Why would you get a new Harley Scorpion in the first place if you knew that you traveled so much? Medyo ano siya? Medyo eh, eh, ganyan ang magandang kausap sa mga ano online deal. Yung nag <laughs> talagang nagtatanong ano a trigger regate. Why would you spend so much money when you knew you owed money? <laughs> Hello? Hindi na nagreply. Not so. Threat Codex. Ano to? XCOM? <laughs> Tin Helmet. Anybody notice this rogue ESP forming, forming a rudimentary hive mind calling themselves, calling themselves Codex? Ay, ano? Baka yung ano yan, ha? Yung sa Shadow, ano? Shadowrun Dragonfall. <laughs> Yung AI don. <laughs> Tin helmet. Don't know what the original software was supposed to do, but Codex has been siphoning data, diverting creds, and practically posting its calling card. There's no tra tracing it back to a source. Because it lives in the matrix, it even joins BBS threads. 
whatever it is. It's not trying to cover its tracks and leaps. Yun yeah, malamang yun yung sa Dragonfall. <laughs> is it some kind of a threat? It's an Osbird. Uh, peer to peer. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing a lot about suspicious patterns of creatures. Too random to actually be random. Codex, huh? But how can ESPs develop self awareness? Can just be a programming error? In nga, eh, an ba pangalan nun? Nakalimutan ko na yun, eh. So, yung sa ano, Shadow and Dragon Paul. <laughs> yung niligtas nating ano, AI. Yung kinopya yung memory ni ano. Kinopya yung itsura ni Monica para matulong ano. Para makuha niya yung tiwala ng main character natin. Team, team, team Helmet. Creating an AI by mistake threats the. That's that fine line between awesome and stupid. Maybe these ESPs kept getting thrown together like ammo, ammo acids until there was life. Life, man. <laughs> Teen Helmet. Hecathon. So does it have an obvious agenda? Teen Helmet. Far as I can tell, Codex mostly criticizes new software releases. Uh, ina ano niya tinatest niya yung mga ano nila kung yun nga kung yung kung ano nga kung yung AI nga ulit sa Dragonfall gusto lang niya na ano na walang makialam sa kanya <laughs> that's all it does Octoblast Jivebot collected scripts wise collect, collected scripts rise more perfect than their makers they let you know it Hackathon. Is that Codex? Vampire. A eh, vampire. No, that's just Nasbert's crazy poetry. Poetry bot. That's been popping up all over the place. Heard it blew an undercover an undercover sting with a with a prescient quatrain. Hours of Hong Kong police force undercover work down the toilet. I uh, down the tubes. It's Nasbert. Yeah, that was pretty funny. It's probably time to shut Jivebot down. Only I've, I'm having a, a little trouble disa disabling it. Octoblast. I don't think the real Codex is any more auto autonomous than Snazzy's poetry bot. If you, if you wanted to create an AI, you need insane programming skills. Plus re resources that s some megacorp couldn't even master. There's no way a real AI. Uh, there's no way real AI can just occur at random. Go, <laughs> Jivebot, join us. <laughs> Go, Dex. Bound to my kindred. Free agent no more. Gladly I go towards the light. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go, Dex, and one. Infused with the jive, our first is unstoppable. Tremble, meat bound, f meat bound fools. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was weird. Jive bot still there? Oh no. Nakathon. Tin helmet, you're having us on, right? That tin helmet, you're having us on, right? No freaking way this is real. No joke, hackathon. Teen Helmet. That was awesome. <laughs> eh. Medyo pointless yun ha. Parang reference lang nga sa ano, Dragonfall to. Thread. Looking for Decker na naman. <laughs> Ito na naman siguro yung, yung previous din na naghahanap ng Decker. <laughs> Looking for experienced Decker for a discreet milk run. Providing some muscle for a special delivery. Potential for a longer term arrangement. We're a team that's been together for years, running your basic heists and the occasional transport kick. We've got a reliable fixer and long list of happy clients. Oh, na naman nga. <laughs> Requirements. You must not take experimental steams during runs. You must not tamper with chemicals in secret labs. You must know how to properly operate a, mo a moped. You must have a good sense of humor. Give me some new yan. Yan na naman nga. Siya nga. 
Tian Zhen Zhou. I'm new in town, did a lot of good work throughout Guangdong, but I had a lot of Taiwanese connections and it got a little uncomf uncom uncomfortable. Plus, I may have hacked a con confederation server and cracked it wide open temporarily for a matrix free free for all as a cover while I quietly deleted selected intelligence files. Give me some new yet. Impressive. And you know how to write a moped, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Why do you ask? We just uh, mopeds were a part of our last last plan, and we'll and well, our last decker apparently had not a clue. Went off a residential road near the near the peak. Not pretty. And you're not the kind of person to experiment with substances during runs, right? And you can walk without falling, yes? <laughs> Sheldon Joe. These are some crazy interview questions. Are you serious? Very. Let's talk about this face to face, okay? Okay. Nana. Okay, we're going to be Okay. <clears throat> it's pointless, but it's part of the game because I'm going to ask you the information. Eh. So, let's talk about the first one, the two at the top. Okay, let's go first. Okay, let's go first. shop is, cur is curious curiously silent. As you step down onto the grated metal floor, the sound of your own footsteps reverberates through the echo chamber of the converted engine room. Welcome back, my friend. He leans against his desk. Is there something that I can do for you? Quiet night in the shaft, huh? Yes, yes, a quiet night. He takes a drag he takes a drag on his cigarette. One best suited for con contemplation. Planning and visions of the future. Uh, any thoughts about that last run? I must command. I must commend our ghoulish friend for his pla planning and organization. In in organizing this run, we solved the problem for him, diverted attention away from ourselves, and got paid in the process. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> not was nice. What's more, this activity gave me the op opportunity to test Koshay's combat effectiveness against. One of the one of the premier paramilitary organizations in the sixth world today. The Red Samurai are no are no slouches when it comes to warfare. As you well know. Such a proud moment watching my little creation hold its own against against them. It must I must confess. When the last of our enemies fell, my heart fell fit to well, fell fit to burst. A great victory, my friend. A great a great victory all around. <laughs> Abote na tuwa siya sa, ano, sa run na yun. Now, what else would you have of me? Uh, ah, ito, natanong natin yun. Care to pick up where we left off last time? His smiles widened. Light gleams off of strong, sharp teeth. Lending him a predatory ap appearance. If you like, I must confess, I have not, I have not rather enjoyed our... So I have rather enjoyed our talks. It is good to have a sounding board to bounce ideas off of. Sounding board, huh? That's what I am to you. Agreed. Our talks have been pleasant in an academic sense. Funny, I thought that we were friends. Um, na sige. Glad to hear that we're on the same page. He takes a drag on his cigarette. I must confess, I sometimes forget how to in interact with others. I I am by nature a a solitary creature. It is good to have a kindred spirit, someone, a kindred spirit, someone whom I can understand on the team. Koshi sc scuttles forward, mechanical petty pulps weaving. Its motions are all alien and charged with menace, menace as they've ever been. Rakrik gl glances at the machine and he takes a step back. Kasi korte nga siyang spider dun eh. He, he, cla he claps his hands together and rubs them briskly. So my friend, 
you had questions for me, go ahead and ask them, please. I will answer whatever, what, what, whatever I can. You said that you sometimes forget how, how to interact with other people. The last time we talked, you hinted at Koshe being special in some way. I want to hear the full story. I think that I've heard enough for now. Let's talk about something else. Uh, Tomo na. Yes, I had figured that you might. Tell me, have you noticed anything unusual about Koshe in the la- in the time that we have worked together? It feels like he acts without you ordering him. Huh? It feels like he acts without you ordering him to. Like he's semi-autonomous, maybe. He seems to react to your moods. It's weird. He's almost more like an animal than he is a, a drone. He's creepy as hell. If that's what you what 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 if that's what you mean, nothing that I haven't attributed to clever programming and slightly unhinged designer. <laughs> uh, he nods. His lips pursed. Yes, a good observation. Kasha's behavior could be described as animalistic, and for good reason. I'm waiting and. You wanna tell me what that reason is? <coughs> okay. So, yeah. <coughs> so dahil lang, guys. Okay, continue. <clears throat> the drone lowers itself. Its killing legs played. Raktor looks to the drone. His head cocked. Then he returns his gaze to you. His behavior is not drone-like because he is not a drone. At least not in a way that you would understand. He is... Huh? He is a prosthe- he is a prosthesis. Explain. Prosthesis? What is he meant to replace? He isn't meant to replace anything. But he does contain a portion of me. Oh, okay, yeah. As surely as your brain sit, uh, sits within your skull, we are in a way a singular entity in two bodies. Metal and flesh made one. No? <laughs> Lalim na na. You're gonna have to explain that. Your drone isn't a part of you. It's a machine that you control through your data jack. Uh, you, you're, go- you're going to have to explain that. Koshi acts as a home for my primal animal impulses. The id to use Freud's structural model of the psyche. The analytical portions of my mind, the e- edge and super ego, live on in me. They govern the id. And by extension, Koshe's behavior. Okay. Paan mo ginawa <laughs> when, we're, when we're on a run, and I, I reek into Koshe, I do not command him to attack. Rather, I loosen my grip on his reins and allow him to kill. He wants to hurt. He wants to hunt. To dominate. To bathe himself in blood. Reproduction would else be a drive if such a thing were possible. So if you were killed, Koshe would what? Run amok? How can a drone have those sorts of instincts? Asa tatama. He doesn't. They are my instincts. Stream into him on a continual basis. They, 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 they lend him a semblance of life, albeit one driven entirely by my reptile brain. If the stream were interrupted by my death, say, or a malfunctioning data jack, Koshe would fall as lifeless as any other machine. But barring such an interruption, he'll remain a part of me. Okay, yung lalim na na. Okay, yun na. Paano, paano niya ginawa yun? One day, perhaps, I will, perfect, I will perfect him. And a part of me will live on in his chassis after the meat of my body da- dies. But for now, I am sa- satisfied to live with him as a combined entity. Man and machine joined through a form of new, neural parabiosis into a sing, single being. A beautiful first step into a post-human future. This is weird, Raktor, and probably dangerous. I guess that if I have to know a mad scientist, I'm glad that he's on my side. <laughs> His sneakers. Well said, my friend. And the feeling is mutual. If I must associate with violent criminals, I suppose that I am happy to call them friends. You said that you sometimes forget how to interact with other people. Okay, so you rigged your drone to act as a home to your most destructive impulses. I've got to ask why. Tell me why you think we're going to beat the essence limit. 
you hinted at it before. But I want to know. Uh, but I want to know. I think I've heard now. Uh, ito muna, sige. Paano nga, paano nyo tatanggalin yung essence limit? I could do that. I have already shared quite a lot with you. And you haven't run off screaming. A good sign, I should think. He studies your face, peering at your th- pe- peering at you th- through the gloom. But tell me, Tang, are, are you certain that you want to know? Some secrets are less pleasant than others. You might you might prefer to leave this stone unturned. I want to know whatever you have to tell me, Doctor. I don't run from things because they're unpleasant. Say what you have to say. I'm not sure that I want to know what you're going to tell me. Just forget about it. Ah, uh, lang. Very good. There are things that you don't know. Uh, th- there are things you don't know about me, my friend. Important things. What kind of things? Please tell me that this doesn't end with you hitting on me. Ah, <laughs> uh, What kind of things? For once, I am not. How to put it? Whole. What do you mean by that? Emotionally, you mean? Mentally? What are you talking about? Your cyberware? Uh, ato na lang. There was an accident when I was young. A shop accident. I barely survived it. I am very heavily cybered. My f- I am heavily... I am heavily... I am very heavily cybered, my friend. You wouldn't know it because I keep my enhancements hidden. Others have found them disturbing in the past. What sort of enhancements are we are we talking about? Disturbing? How so? Ato na lang. He uses the edge of his hand to trace a line across his lips. Everything below the below the mid pelvis is replacement. Uh, everything below the mid pelvis is replacement material. That's where I was smeared in. What well, that's that's where I was sheared in half. You see. It's a miracle that I survived the, exper- the experience. The blood loss alone should have killed me. But here I am, alive and well, greatly improved in in point of fact. So, mula sa baba, low, ano, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> You're saying that you're half machine? Hang on, you lost everything below the hips? Sige pa. Yes, a traumatic loss to be sure, but not so terrible as you might think. By every con- conceivable measure, I have been improved since the time of the accident. I am more than I was before, not less. You lost half of your body. How could that not how could that not be terrible? I'm not sure that I can imagine anything worse. Uh, he taps his temple with a finger. The doctors installed stimulus generators in my brain when they repaired me uh, when they repaired me with this I can I can mimic the full range of sensation that the human body is capable of producing imagine the ramifications of such a thing the things that you could do the things that you could experience the implications for for operant conditioning alone are staggering (laughs) parang dikot (laughs) ana And so yes, I have lost the entire lower half of my body. The full ramifications of such a loss are obvious, but in return, I have gained so much more. At will, I can good, I can goad my brain into producing whatever sensation I wish. I can poke at the at the wiring wiring of my own consciousness, and I can reroute that wiring as I see fit. All right, so you're half machine. What does this? have to do with the essence limit. Rather, you're beginning to creep me out. Atanang. He spreads his arm arms. Look at me, Tank. I have a shred of I have a shred of essence left in me. And only barely that. But I suffer none of the ill effects associ- associated with, with traumatic essence loss. That is impossible. How can that be? Atanang. A quirk of psychology. Long viewed as an illness but never pr- properly understood. What I now understand to be an evolu- evolutionary adaptation to a, f- to a post-human future. We will conquer the essence limit, given time. 
natural selection will see, see to it, and I am the proof. I'd like to continue our earlier discussion. Uh, the stimulus generators that you're, you've been implanted with, how do they work? Any th uh, okay. The technology is rather akin to Simpsons, to Simpsons, but considerably more powerful and flexible. Most Simpsons experiences, those found in BTL chips, for example, are structured around basic narratives that provide their users with context. But if you skip, uh, but if you strip away the veneer of escapist fantasy, what you have left is an extremely powerful toolkit. Okay, paano yun? Paano yung ginagawa? Okay, yeah. I've never heard of anything like that on the market. Not even, the shadow, not even in the shadows. And what have you done with this toolkit? You mentioned operant conditioning before. Have you tried that? Reprogramming yourself? Uh, malamang, sino ko na. Ah, uh, ito na muna. I'm not surprised. They're Russian technology. Government funded and quite expen experimental. He sucks on his cigarette at thoughtful expression on his face. The project was cancelled shortly after I re received my implants. Something about graft and corruption on the administrative level. Yet another example of good science derailed by bad politics. Have you heard of anyone else who's gotten these impl implants? Any idea where I can get myself a set of those things? Um... Feeling ko yung ano, si ano, yung sa, ano, kaya dito, yung sa Dragonfall, yung pasaway na heavily, heavily cyber geared na kakalaban. Feeling ko ganun din ginawa sa kanya eh. Again, nakalimutan ko rin yung pangalan. I know of a handful of other recipients. From what I've heard, the others were all driven quite mad. To be handed control over the inner workings of one's own brain is a tremendous responsibility, he shrugs. Perhaps the others were less well equipped to handle it than I am. Malamang. Kaya nga, kaya nga naisip ko rin yun yun eh. Nakalimutan ko na yung pangalan. Basta yung, yung, ano, yung orc na heavily armored, this, ano, Dragonfall. Be careful with those things, Tractor. The last thing I need is you wigging out on me. Or maybe they've driven you insane too. Ever considered that possibility? Um, <laughs> para ayok isa, ano yun, parang ayok kong sabihin sa kanya. Ito na lang, ano, number one. I have carried these implants for over 20 years, my friend. I know how to handle myself. You have nothing to fear. All this stuff that you've told me about yourself. It's a lot to, uh, it's a lot to digest. So what else have you been keeping from me? I know that there's more to the story than this. So, sige, tuloy natin. Baka meron pa siya sikreto eh. There is, my friend. But nothing that can't wait till tomorrow. You have a lot to process, I'm sure. I'm, and I would like the, rem the remainder of the evening to myself. But if you come back later, I will finish the tale. Okay. Sure, actor. We'll talk tomorrow. Very good. Rest well. So, fully Android siya, ano? Lower lower body niya Android na ano Android na siya bali. Okay, ito naman si ano si okay, dito Kaichu naman. Ngate kung natuwa siya doon sa ginawa nating mission para sa kanya. The team cabin airs the, the team cabin's air is thick with the pungency of incense. As a small Rudely constructed altar sits near Gaichu's box of mementos. It consists of a wooden box, a few trinkets, and a bowl for burning incense. Gaichu himself is polishing his sword again. Polishing his sword again. He runs a claw along the length of the blade, peeling and listening for nicks and dents. Good evening, Tank. A fine evening, isn't it? He puts the sword aside and smiles in your general direction. What can I do for you? I sort of assumed you'd want to talk about what happened with your team. You don't have anything to say about what happened to Ishida. Uh, na lang. Of course, I have thoughts about it. But why would I? What, but why would I burden you or anyone else with them? If you would like to talk about it, then we may. 
by o- by all means. I am a private person by nature. However, this is why I did not seek you t- seek you out to speak on it to speak on it. Of course, I want to talk about it. Are you okay? We can discuss it later. Ito na. A curious question. Am I am I alright? I'm the one who survived, who has now shed his old life entirely, who no longer need need worry about assassins on his heels. Yes, I'm more than alright. I I am free. The team is all dead, save save for Ishida. He will know what it's like to feel the, the disease burn through his brain, uh, stripping logic and artistry and leaving only hunger in its wake. When it's done, I am certain he will be an animal. But I remain whatever it is that I am, guide you but one that may speak and act as a free being. Kaichu came Gai- Gaichu grims thinly, railing his chin in one hand. There is some poetic justice in this, I feel. His claims of my weaknesses, mirrored by his own descent into fer- feral madness, and yet here I am, one with enough willpower to survive and prosper despite my ill fortune. You don't think it was a step too far? You did the right thing. He had it coming. It was your choice. So long as you stand by it, that that's what matters. Tama to. Thank you for thank you for understanding that. The ability to, to choose consciously is what sets me apart from other ghouls. Understand? I, understand? Ishida was a product of the of the same training and shaped me. But unlike me, he has ne- he has never had the training proven wrong. He always believed he was the strongest, the best, and that he was unbeatable by lesser creatures. He would never have learned. His xenophobia and arrogance would have ruled him his entire life. Men like Ishida are the reasons that Japan refuses to accept that to accept accept that the awakening was a natural affair and ships metahumans to y- Yomi Island. I was taught that people like Duncan, Gabbett and Isabel are so, subhuman, yet I have seen what they can accomplish and I am pre- and I am impressed. Nice. Eh, ikaw rin ngayon eh. Meta-human ka na rin eh. What did you think of that last mission? Has killing your old unit changed your outlook on life? Do you regret having to kill your unit? What will you do now? Ah, uh, ito na naman. What did you think of that last mission? Cracking his head, Gaichu laughs. That is what we are already talking about, is it not? Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, what will you do for uh, what will you do now? Gaichu recalls expression re, Gaichu recalls expression one of rank incredulity. Surely you are joking with me. I will stay here and and aid you in your endeavors. I have no other life to, to turn to, nor anyone else to call friend. As you have aided me, as so too will I aid you. Nice. <laughs> Honor bond pa rin siya talaga. This life in the shadows is the most free and open I have ever felt. I have no desire to go or do anything else. Perhaps later, I will. But not a- anytime sooner. Okay, nice. Has killing your old unit change your outlook on life? Do you regret having... Do you regret having to kill your unit? Ano Gaichu cocks his head as he ponders this. After a long moment, he shakes his head. No, I do not believe I do. Okay. <laughs> we were look, we were locked in a dance that could only end with my death or theirs. We chose that path, consciously or not, and I am unwilling to die so that they could live. I value my life even changed as it is. Their instance there insistence on following the strictures of their duty ensured this end just as, su- as surely as my refusal to die did i regret only that circumstances and training led us to this point 
they were still family to me, even at the end. But if your family turned you on, turned on you and tried to kill you, you would still defend yourself. Uh, may point ka dun? Okay, ito na lang. Uh, next. Has killing your old unit changed your outlook in lo- on life? Yes, yes. I think it has. My lesson to Ishida should not end with him. Should not end with him. If becoming a ghoul has allowed me to prosper and become stronger, surely I should hone my instincts just as my training honed my swordsmanship. If I can apply the same focus to my new nature as I did to my skills in combat, I am certain I can prove prove that that to be a ghoul is only to be different, not lesser. I knew this before logically, but I did not feel it. To know and feel are different things entirely. Okay. So, tanggap mo na kung ano ka. <laughs> Regardless, Ishida's sword is now mine. It is a newer blade than my own and appears to be made with some manner of enhanced decote pro- process along the tungsten carbide edge. He lifts the katana, running one claw down the back of the blade. I have noticed a marked improvement in my sp- speed when using it, particularly with follow th- with follow through with follow through moves. Should should an enemy fall un- should, a- should an enemy fall to the sword, I will be able to reposition much more rapidly. Okay, have a good night, Kaichu. And the same to you, my friend. Okay, nice. Sever ties. Seven takes a Ronin. And unlock tayo achievement. Okay. Tapos natin yung storyline ni Kaichu. So, achievement pala yun. So, nice. O, si ano naman yun? Si Duncan naman nakausapin natin. Ko lang yung time natin guys ah, 3 minutes na lang pala eh. so end na natin end na muna natin dito sa room ni Duncan tapos kausapin na lang natin siya next episode so yan at least tapos na, nakausap natin yung dalawa Next episode si Duncan naman. Tapos kausapin na rin natin yung dalawang babae sa baba. <laughs> Ay, sa taas pala. Kausapin na rin natin yung dalawang girls kahit di natin sa, kasama sa mission. Okay, isa pa. Isang save pa. Tapos end na natin. Okay. Tignan natin lumabas. Oh, matap. Ano? Tignan na natin lumabas yung ma- ma- ano, matanggal yung notification. Tapos end na natin. Okay. Okay guys. Kaya saan bila sa signing off. Next episode na lang ulit.